Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing uh, the second fish room update. I'm going to try and do these monthly from now on, uh, unless nothing's really happened. Um, okay, so I'll start off with all the new fish, uh, and then I'll go from room to from tank to tank. Right. So the first new fish is we've got a, a breeding pair of albino convict cichlids. We've got the male on top of the log. And the female is really small and she's in there. They're very interesting because they like to sort of have a go at your fingers. Okay, and then we got two new goldfish that someone gave us. And a featherfin catfish. Or a featherfin squeaker as some people call them. He hides. Try and find him. Uh, that's my cuckoo catfish. Ah, oh, there he is there. Very sneaky. Sneaky little catfish. Okay, so I'll move on. Uh, this is my newest tank. It's just a guppy breeding tank with a bristle catfish and three peppered catfish. Yep. Yeah. Females. Got some babies. Uh, see if I can find some. I think most of them have grown. There's my bristle catfish. Got some neon tetras in there from the old tank that we had. There's a baby guppy at the back. Right, and then I've moved all most of my big predators into this tank. Now, the one that I had all my rosy barbs and rainbow fish in, I've moved them mostly into there. So I'll start with my green and gold snook. Oh, wow. Just had to spoil the show, didn't you, scat? Hmm? Well, that's my silver scat, and he really likes stealing, stealing the photos from everyone else. He, he, he's like a photo bomb king. So that's my golden snook there. Uh, yeah, it's kind of full at the minute, so I've got fish everywhere. And my golden green, so there's my green snook there. They yawn and they have huge mouths. So there's my albino tiger Oscar. My black belt cichlid, she's very pretty. Uh, my silver perch, silver scat, two silver dollars. There's a lot of things that's silver in here and my salmon tail catfish. I've also got my Malawi eye biter in the top there. And if you're wondering, the reason I have these things like on the top of the tanks, they're just the things that are in there like peacock bass, I've got peacock bass in there, my Murray cod, silver meaning silver perch. Um, one of them, that one I've named Loon she's crazy so I put that up there uh, I have big whiskers catfish for Sam some tail I also did have uh, my tenderness catfish in here as well so I had that on there. okay so I'll move on now and I've moved my rainbows in here no no new fish really so my golden perch on the bottom Pretty dirty in there. I'm about to clean it. There. And um, my rosy barbs in here. Silver shark in there as well. My sucking catfish there. Some glass fish, some gudgeons. That's just a big mix of fish, really. So I'll move on to looking at all the fish now. So my mother of all the the mother of the red jewel cichlids has died, and um, I've now just got the three babies. I've got the little one, the little female, the big male, and the deformed female. It's actually very on borderline on breeding with the male. 
Okay, oh, I forgot to uh, say, I've also got an Jack Dempsey. He's in there. The torch. There he is there. So my super green Texas cichlid. Very pretty cichlid. And my two albino convicts. And that's it in that tank. So this tank, I've got, oh, for God's sake, two goldfish. There, yeah, fantail and a comet. And I've got my cuckoo catfish, my featherfin catfish, out the way goldfish. Featherfin catfish over here. Where's the torch not working? Well, I think you saw them before. So. I got my garami there. I got an angelfish. Uh, my whiptail catfish. He might take a while to find. I don't know. He's just there. Just there. And then I got my rosy barbs. I've got a molly in there. Just one, because that got given to us by our local pet store. My two peacock bass, they're actually out today, which is quite surprising. My smaller peacock bass, and my bigger one over there. If I stay here till long, I'll probably try and jump. And then I've got my Murray Cod. If you haven't checked out my two previous videos on this guy, you might want to, he's pretty interesting. Just finished filming my last video on him actually. Still got the lid open. So I've got my Tetras and Guppies, and then I got Oscar and all the rest in here. I'm probably going to film a video of me feeding these guys. Alright, and then. This is coming near the best part because I've just gotten a pair of breeding bristlenose catfish that have just laid eggs. I let them have the eggs in their tank for a while and they ate them, but they're getting ready to lay again. I've kept them in sort of the darkest part of the room, mainly because they don't really like the light. They try and hide. So they actually laid the eggs under that log there. I don't know if you can see him, but his fin's just sticking out. That's the male there. So it's actually an albino and a regular bristle nose that are breeding which is I've never heard of that before I don't know how regular that is but I didn't even know they were gonna breed but I just put them in the same tank and they did so and I've got I saved some of the babies I stripped some of the eggs and I put them over here and they hatched which I'm very happy with there they are Why is it not focusing in? So they are there. It's not a very good picture because they're still very small. Alright guys, that concludes today's video. Um, please like if you enjoyed this video. Um, that would really help. Um, yeah, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. See ya.